Howdy warriors and welcome back. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Brenda Bustios, U.S. Army TRADOC Command Dietitian. Today, I will highlight nutritional practices that will enable you to reach and maintain optimal performance weight. For many of us, injury, frequent travel, stress, lack of time, or COVID-19 challenges, for example, may be a factor in the few extra pounds we've managed to accumulate. Losing those extra pounds seems relatively easy, right? Just take in less energy, meaning the fuel or calories from food and fluids, and use more of that energy out, which are the calories burned through daily physical activity and training. Then your body will burn throughout the stored energy in the form of fat, and you'll lose weight. But it isn't quite that easy, because many other factors are involved in managing your weight. Some you can control, others you cannot. There may be social, environmental, or behavioral influences that impact your weight gain or inability to lose weight. Some factors you can control most of the time are the type and amount of food you eat. Travel, deployment, and training might limit your ability to choose the foods you want because the available options are limited or you're just on a different schedule. Not every eating style is right for you all the time. I'm going to pause here and say that though I am a dietitian, the word diet is a four letter word to me. Instead, I want to use words or phrases like eating style, eating patterns or plans, or just simply dietary behaviors. The eating pattern you like might not be appropriate in every circumstance such as when the demands of high intensity causes your eating style to result in underfueling. Underfueling or undereating is when you eat fewer calories than what your body requires. Low energy intake or fewer calories consumed doesn't always mean less food. So let's look at this example here. We have 340 calories of chocolate chip cookies or for 340 calories, you can have all of this, three cups of popcorn, one whole grain, whole wheat pita with hummus, rotisserie chicken, and some good veggies added. So when you compare these two options, the healthier option will create the sensation of being full, whereas that sensation of fullness may not come until you eat an entire box of these chocolate chip cookies. So choosing different types of food or eating patterns can help you succeed in managing your weight. You do have options and choice. Your eating pattern or style might change depending on changes in your lifestyle, health, or training and activity goals. One style might work better for you during intense training or operations, while another might work better during a PCS or deployment. So you might need to adjust. Finding an eating pattern that works might take some trial and error. However, it's important to consider a variety of nutrition and lifestyle factors to help you choose the eating pattern that's best for you. No matter what your current performance goals are, it's important to be realistic. Meaningful and safe weight loss does not happen overnight. In order to preserve lean muscle mass and performance, a weight loss of no more than half a pound to two pounds per week is ideal. Here are a few recommendations. Assess your current habits. In the last video, we discussed serving sizes and how to interpret food labels. Make sure the food choices and portions you consume are the best for meeting your performance and weight goals. When in doubt, resist the urge to go online and search for the best weight loss diet. This will lead you down a road of confusion, frustration, and disappointment. Track your food intake. People who've been the most successful with achieving and maintaining their optimal weight loss are those who are generally consistent about tracking. And that means you're just more mindful of what you consume. So in other words, you can use a manual, which is paper and pen, or a digital tracker as a visual guide that can help you monitor what and how much and if you've consumed enough or too much in a day's time. Now these tracking applications or apps may be useful to those seeking guidance for better sleep, free trainer-led workouts, 
access to helpful recipes, and also meditation and mindfulness strategies, just to name a few. Are you familiar with digital food and fitness tracking apps? Because there are many free online apps that can help you on your tracking journey. As I stated in the last video, your registered dietitian or Army Wellness Center health educator can help you determine the amount of calories you need per day to support optimal health and performance. The amount you need varies based on biological sex, height, weight, age, and activity level. Other factors that can affect how many calories your body uses for energy, which can also impact how many you should consume, include hormones, your individual metabolism, some medications, and your overall health status. Trackers can help you stay on track by promoting mindfulness and will indicate when you're on the verge of consuming more than your body's needs. Consume quality calories. And what I mean by that is focus on regularly eating foods that are nutrient rich. And so we've talked about these in previous videos, but for example, lean sources of protein, including fish, poultry, beans, nuts, and some dairy products, whole grains, fruit, and vegetables. And stay hydrated. Choose low calorie beverages such as water. You can drink low fat milk or unsweetened beverages during and between meals. Hydration does not come from an energy drink. Remember, nutrition requirements vary based on individual performance goals, task specific training, and operational demands. For a deeper understanding of the nutrient-rich food sources that will support your performance and your optimal performance weight, check out our other videos in this series. You should also connect with a registered dietitian for individualized guidance on how you can meet your specific nutrition needs and performance goals. Did you enjoy this video? Then don't stop here. If you want to get the most out of your nutrition, then tune in to our next video in the series. Until then, I wish you health, happiness, and high performance.